it goes uphill. It's really slow. Freaking super annoying. You need to get off the road, slowpoke. Hey, screw you, old man. <laughs> Darn you in. <laughs> I'm going to the police. You shouldn't be going that fast in a walker. Welcome back to the channel. This is Mac, and today we are working on the Fatty Caddy. I got something exciting in the mail today I want to share with you guys, and we'll be installing it in today's video. So stay tuned. All right, super exciting day. What came in? Was it that, that package? Can you pick it up? Oh, I need you to pick it up, bud. Oh. Is that super heavy? My guinea pigs are... Want some attention. They heard the fridge open. Do you, do you guys have guinea pigs? The fridge opens and they start Ooh. crying. Stand up. Anyway, so we got a package thing. Let's open it. Is it super heavy? Yeah. Should we get the little cart we got? Put it on the cart and put it in the garage? The cart? Go get the cart. The golf cart? No, the cart. In the front? All right, we'll figure this out. We'll be right back. Normally, I would lift this thing up and put it up on here, but this thing is stupid heavy. We got backup. We got an upgrade for the golf cart. Because this thing's stupid slow. Mike, how slow is this? 12 mile an hour. Granny <laughs> <laughs> speed. Granny speed. That is stupid freaking heavy. It's probably like 40 pounds. <laughs> I don't really know how much it weighs, but I think it's like 50 or 60 pounds. So we ordered a 4K AC, DC to AC converter shin kit with this controller. And I can link in the description where I got it all for what I bought. Here's some details here. And what looks in here? I'm no golf cart pro, but we can figure this out. It can't be harder than a car. I think. Oh yes. AC motor controller. Hmm. Extra wire. Plugs. This could be the controller. More fast, more slow. Ooh. Yeah, I figure out we're gonna want to put that. Ooh, looks like an install bracket. Okay, got some plugins here. Holy crap, that thing's big. That's what she said, right? Now that we got it unboxed, it only took like 15 minutes to unbox it. <laughs> <laughs> it had as many staples in the box as mom's arm. Right? So there's a big reason why we need to change the motor on this thing. It's, it's stupid slow. I have steep hills in my neighborhood. And I'm justifying it because I really don't need to, but I want a faster cart. But if the wife asks, you know, they won't make it up a hill. Right, Mike? That's right. Old people on... On walkers are passing me up on the road. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Getting yelled at. I live in a retired community and they're going faster than I am. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so I think first things first, let's go ahead and flip this up. Oh, yeah. And just unhook it. Yeah. All right. And then I guess we could turn this into tow, right? And then we want to unhook the ground and the power that is going to the actual um module in the back now that i have the power power and ground unhooked we need to go ahead and take this back tray off right here that way we can access the panels under here really easily it's just four bolts under here let's just get this out of our way Ugh. all right we'll take all the wires off up here yeah 
I wish you didn't know what's what. So I'm going to take some pictures. And then that way I know what color goes to what. And uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, off all the stuff in here. I recommend starting with these bolts up here to remove the controller off. And then you have a lot easier time getting off all the cables on the side. Oh, controller box out. There's little markings on here, so we're gonna match up the markings on this box to the new one over there. But before we do any of that stuff, we wanna really remove that bad boy right there, which we're gonna lift up and goo it from underneath. So we're gonna get some jack stands and all that good stuff to get this thing up in there. All right, so I'm recording the fun part. I got the three bolts on top. There's one big one at the bottom. All right, we have jack stands, we have blocks in the front, We've got one of these down here, and then we just have to um, shimmy this off. So this is heavy. Um, Tell me when you're ready. Mike, if you want to get started, I'm going to hold the cables just as a backup. But you just kind of twist it and you pull out. Okay. Okay. Ooh, you got it? So got this motor out. Now I guess we just got to move these wires over to the new one. And then slide the new one in. Me and Mike decided to go ahead and try to stab it. Grab, grab, grab. <clears throat> uh oh. Cut, ready, go. <clears throat> oh. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, my arm. Oh, uh, don't use these bolts to dr drag the motor in, by the way. Um, that's a lot of instructions say that, so make sure you slide the motor in like it's supposed to, and then tighten these up. All right, so we got this in. That's the big part. Next is getting the controller installed and then wiring it all up. So you're gonna see that next. Hey guys, so it came with this cool little adapter plate, but <coughs> We decided to scrap it. Use the existing um, plate that's attached to this thing. And then it's threaded right here. So we're using this aluminum plate back here to kind of, we screwed some holes into it, drilled some holes into it. And then we're screwing from the backside, which we have easy access to. And um, that seemed to work really well. So we're doing that now. Um, that's how I would do it. And then we'll show you the wiring part here in a minute. But just wanted to kind of show you it mounted. We're just doing some final tightening up. Motors installed, controllers installed. Plugs are going to be going on here in a second with adapters. I'll film all that stuff. This is all the boring stuff. I'll show you the important stuff in a second. For whatever reason, I didn't record this, but uh, we have um, we had some cables that we we're saving off there, A1 and A2. And they're different sizes, so they told us to use this A1 cable, which is this white one. And it goes to the U. So U to U. So U to U. That's my white cable. The A2 cable, which is this one, goes to V. So it's V to V. And then the cable they provided, this big thick one, is W to W. So... I'm going to clean this all up, but uh, for the most part, this is how it's sitting right now. Um, and then we'll kind of zip tie this all together as soon as we um, get around to it. All right. This yellow cable is not plugged in. I think I unhooked this. I don't think we're using that. And we just do positive, battery positive, battery negative. Those three cables are hooked up. Now we're going to start plugging in these controller cables like this. So I've got an adapter that goes with mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that adapter in now. Came with the kit, this adapter. I think we have to use this too. So we'll figure this out. All right, so this controls into my box, to the cart, to this unit now. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So I'll plug this back in. Okay, and then there should be a little snap it on the bottom. Let's go like this. All right, we'll zip tie this up so it doesn't hang. Maybe it's supposed to go in between. 
of extra space. Wow. Screw it. Got it, use it. Got it, use it. I don't understand why this does this, but it was in the kit. So we're plugging it in. <laughs> <laughs> well, these pin layouts are different, so it's moving stuff yeah. over. So I'm thinking that's what it is. Okay. This controller, I'm gonna set this controller right here for right now. I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put it. But it's kind of snaked it through an existing hole in the firewall. And this will plug in right here. All right, and then this plugs in right here. Right where this cable's at. <laughs> guys, so we're gonna go ahead and flip this thing upside down and uh, try to solve most of our issues that we currently have, which is the battery plus and negative. So we're gonna do that right now. All right. <laughs> Not bad, but we'll do it. All right, so we're back. Flip the control over. This is our big negative, okay? So our negative cable goes straight to the negative terminal, okay? All right. The solenoid, we use the yellow cable for the power. So that's B positive. The W is my big power wire that they provided us. The small green one goes to uh, V, and then this white one goes to U under here. Um, and then we plugged everything on top and we plugged in those little extensions. We plugged in everything. We should be good to go. Just hook the batteries back up. Gotta hook the batteries up. I triple checked everything, but, uh, yeah, these boots will slide right over. Um, I guess I can do that now. Well, I'll do it later. When we put everything back together, but we want to test it before we can do any other stuff, right, Mike? Yep. And then we'll do some wiring ties, clean it all up, and all that good jazz. But everything's tight now. Let's go ahead and put this controller over here, and I'll hook this up right here. Well, that's all plugged in, we're good. Let's make sure no sparks are happening. Yep. Turbo. 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 We got key on. Run. Key on. Want me to hit the pedal? I don't see any smoking. Okay. Alright. Go ahead and do it. Hit the pedal? Yeah. All right, we did something wrong. Um, I bet you have to log into the system and configure it. So this is Bluetooth, so let me try to find an app for this. And the reason why it wasn't working is because I have to get the app, which I just downloaded. It says, would you like to use Bluetooth? Yes. Okay. All right, fast forward a little bit of time on the golf cart install. So went ahead and did all the boring stuff, put it all back together, put it on the ground. Um, it is working, but I wanted to kind of show you a few things. Um, first off, I need to fix this seat. This bracket's all broken. Different video for that. But uh, I do have everything installed. I do have the controller just kind of sitting here for right now. Um, just wanted to try out a few things. I have the back seat back on. I have the wires all hooked up. Again, this is a really fairly simple install. It's plug and play. So I really didn't do any wire cutting or anything. Just kind of ran the wires, plugged them in, followed the instructions, and it worked. Now, I was having some trouble with my solenoid. Um, that's what you may have seen in the previous uh, segment there, which was a couple days ago. As soon as I was troubleshooting everything, looking at uh, voltages, making sure that the this pedal right here gets five volts, I'm gonna share some diagrams with you on the screen for a Club Cart DS, this is a 99. It's pretty much the same for like the 80 something model all the way up to uh, 2000 and a half on the DS. So I'm gonna share those diagrams with you and the Navitas um, wiring diagram. So you can check voltages if you have issues. 
I went through and I checked voltages. I pulled this panel off right here, making sure I got key power and all that stuff. Um, like right now, this forward, key off, if I hit go, this ain't going nowhere. Okay, that's what you kind of want. The key on, I hit go. You can hear the switch moving and the car's moving, okay? All right, so everything is working now. And I have it all back together. I think the, it's fully charged. I charged it all last night. Some things I do want to do, again, I'm going to fix the seat, but I want to get some new covers for this. Do you guys know anybody or how to go about this? If I have to make my own, that's fine. Just trying to figure out how to go about replacing this stuff. But, uh, yeah. Also, the height on this thing is not very high. Would like to get like a lift kit and rims. Maybe a future video. I don't know. Let's take it for a ride. Let's make sure she can go that 25 to 35 if we select that option. <laughs> I need to race another golf cart, so there's a reference. Okay. You ain't going nowhere. You may be asking yourself, can this golf cart go off off road? The the answer is yes. It's steep. It's steep. It is not steep. Yes, it is. Look. It's that is steep. Not, you can't even see the edge. Exactly. This is oh, steep. That looks so steep. That is steep. Don't. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> whoa! 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 Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> did you seriously jump out? <laughs> Look at her face. Look at her face. Why did you jump out? Get it. Oh my god. Girly. There's dirt all over her face. It's hilarious. Get it. Wait. Oh, wait. Is she okay? <laughs> she's, she's smarter than us. She dived out. You are not going anywhere. Oh my god. Get some dirt. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You got that <laughs> I don't know. But uh we had we had that under control. I mean that was a dangerous all. I saw you throw that thing off the <laughs> <laughs> Almost fell out. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Oh. It's okay. Good, it's okay. Stop it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> She's, I'm jumping out of this bad boy. Well, anyway, this is the start of the golf cart process, a transformation. If you guys want to see some upgrades you'd want to see on this golf cart, please let me know. Put in the comments section what we'd like to see. Maybe rims, tires, maybe upgrade seats, maybe a stereo. I don't know. Let me know. All right. Until next time, guys. Thank you. Bye.